So two things today. First and foremost, never feel bad if you don't fully understand uh, something related to finances, especially if you are the company owner or you have created this amazing product. Um, you know, it shouldn't be expected that just because you've created an amazing product that you fully understand everything there is to know about the boring side uh, of finances. Uh, being creative is very different than understanding all of the details of uh, finances. So the reason I bring this up brings, is, is the second point. Recently I had a client who felt embarrassed that they didn't even know what really is involved in a balance sheet. And so I thought, there's no reason to be embarrassed about that. And then I just quickly explained to him in a very simple way, you know, what uh, we were going to discuss in relation to a balance sheet. And so I decided to make this video and to bring everybody up to speed on what is a balance sheet. So a balance sheet really is made up of uh, three um, uh, essential parts. The first is the assets, which is what you have. Uh, the liabilities, uh, what you own, or what, yeah, what you owe, and then uh, lastly is the equity, which is what is left over when you essentially subtract liabilities from assets. So using a simple illustration, we might think of the very popular company, Netflix. Um, what are the assets of Netflix? Well, really, all of your viewing content that uh, we see running across our screen, whether it's a series or movies, that is the, the assets of Netflix. It's the content that they have that they will then uh, sell and uh, make money from. Now, the liabilities is everything that Netflix spends to make their movies. Um, it's also what Netflix spends on licensing fees. So um, what they pay to uh, other companies to be able to show um, whatever series or movies they have, that would fall into the liabilities. And then lastly, there is equity. And that is what uh, Netflix earns or makes after they subtract the liabilities from their assets. So assets being what they, uh, what they have and they charge for, liabilities, the costs, what's left over is your equity. So I hope everyone now understands, and of course those principles you can apply in different businesses, but uh, that's what we're talking about when we discuss a balance sheet and those three primary things. You have your assets, you have your liabilities, and then you have your equity.